Hello, YouTube. Today I am playing Space Engineers because I have this game now. So, first off, I'm just going to show off this really cool F4 Phantom I made. Uh, I'm very proud of how it turn turned out. Yeah, I have absolutely no plan for this video, so I'm just going to kind of have fun with it. Uh, these are ugly, in case you didn't notice. Uh, they're just kind of a functional design that I pushed out. Actually, like my second design with landing gear. This is the first one, you can tell because it has four. Uh, there's some more F4s that I just copy and pasted, that I just pasted there. Uh, this was my attempt at an ARC-170. This was like one of the first ships I tried to make. As you can tell by the fact that it was smoking and... mangled. It didn't work out. Well, it worked out! It's just I crashed it. What I probably should have done is should have figured out how to copy and paste first, so then I wouldn't have this issue. Um, what is this? Why is oh, uh, that's probably the relic of remnant of some other project like that. Uh, this was my first attempt at a hydrogen power thing. It is still on fire after several days and rain. Yeah, this is... fun game. I guess you guys didn't know. You should try it out if you ever get the chance. I'm gonna hop in one of these F4s. Oh, dude, now I'm gonna leave. Yes, I know the F4 Phantom can be told, but there's no way, as far as I know, to make something not a VTOL in this game. Oh boy. This is why we copy and paste. Um. Oh boy, I lost an engine. Okay, well, we might as well just go all out then. how bad we can wreck it. If we crash it straight into the ground. Oh gosh. It's a... That's a crater right there. Uh, ships in this game are kind of hard to control, just because they don't slow down very easily. Which, I mean, that's whatever. is the best thing I've made so far. Um, I mean, come on, it's an F4 Phantom. What's not to like? It's awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to save and I'm going to show off a different world where I have capital ships uh, instead.
So I'm going to pause the recording right now. That loaded faster than I expected, actually. So I probably didn't need to pause it at all, but whatever. So this has a lot... It's a lot bigger, obviously. You can copy and paste just about anything you make. And even stuff that's just like default stuff, you can also copy and paste. So... You know, the default ships, I'm for, at least as far as I know, you can copy and paste. I just don't think there's anything saying you can't. I mean, you can copy and paste these things all over the place. And it's good for, like, iterative design, so, like, you'll notice these ones don't have those missile turrets, and these ones do. Uh, it's because I made those first. Then I added the missile turrets here. Are they pretty? Not really, no. But, they get the job done. Or at least I hope. I don't know. I know there is online play. I just don't know how, you know, I'm really supposed to get into that. Like, I know large ship to large ship combat is a thing. I just don't know. Uh... I'm not going to use this letter. I just don't know. Uh, how to actually, like, do that. You know? And if I do, I know there are factions in this game. There's, like, a faction system. So I don't know how uh, that's going to work. But yeah, this was mostly just to, like, show off some how cool this game is. Uh, that's, that's it. That's the end of the video. I'm done. See ya. I'm not even gonna edit this. I'm just gonna, like, stop it. Bye.